Welcome back. Now, some audience reaction from home. Someone on Twitter says, this is about Boris, you know, we, he, he, he admitted he crashed the car. I'm asking whether he's a write-off. Uh, well, someone on Twitter says, like a lot of things, he didn't really think it through, did he? Mm. <laughs> Food for thought on that one. Another one on Twitter says, not a write-off, but is hurtling down a one-way street in the wrong direction. <laughs> Funny how the local MP's left already, isn't it, really? <laughs> James says to me, the man is a clown, he's no leader, he's the worst PM ever. Well, that may be a little bit harsh, James, but people are angry and upset and frustrated. Jonathan says, let's just say, Boris and his government's performance ain't something to celebrate. The government is stuttering and terribly weak. I don't even want to consider the Labour alternative. I'm just hoping and praying that Boris transforms the old banger to a Maserati ASAP. <laughs> On Twitter I get, I don't think it'll bluff out. Well, you may be right. Um, look, uh, the truth is, Boris needs replacing ASAP. The truth is, Harold Wilson once said a week's a long time in politics, and in a, and in a couple of weeks, Boris's popularity has fallen very, very sharply.